In a time of NFL free agency, in a time where we are in a weird time, let me tell you, I guess that's too many times, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, what about Aaron Rodgers? What is he going to do? Is he going to leave the Green Bay Packers? Where is he going to go? Where is he going to go? You know, I don't know where he's going to go. I don't know if he's going to retire. I don't know if he's going to the Texans. I don't know if he's going to San Fran. You know, because there's a lot of places that need quarterbacks right now, especially Houston. Houston's the one I'm keeping an eye on, you know, for quarterbacks and stuff. But, um, yeah, things are getting a little bit weird. I know, I know the NFL draft was last week. I know everything was like, crazy with that and I didn't even go over the other rounds because I mean there was no point in going over the other rounds because I mean the first round is probably one of the most important first round is you know first round is great for media coverage but the other rounds you know that's where your real money that's where the real money makers come from in the um, second third fourth fifth rounds you know maybe there's some guys in the sixth and seventh rounds that are there Looking, you know, whoever Mr. Relevant was this year, I didn't forgot already. Because I mean, the draft, the draft was last week, and I, 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 I'm just gonna mentally checked out from that at this point. I'm ready for this NFL schedule to come out this next week. In fact, next Thursday night, I believe. I believe it's the Thursday night, or is it a Wednesday night? I don't know. I don't know when. But, you know, the NFL schedule is coming out. There's going to be 17 games in 18 weeks this year instead of, you know, 18 games in 20 weeks like like I really wanted. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, 17 games is... I, I have to get used to it because, I mean, there's no way the CBA is going to be renegotiated before 2030 at least, maybe, potentially. Who knows? Also, 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 Amazon! Got those Thursday night football rights early. Speaking of things that happen that are stupid, um, I, I've been a major proponent against Amazon. Amazon does not deserve any sorts of NFL rights. Yet here they are, they have the exclusive Thursday night football rights, except in the local team's home markets each and every week. I absolutely, you know, I, I, I just don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I've never liked it. And, you know, the fact that we are going, you know, to wholesale streaming, you know, is, I mean, it's it's all right, I guess. I mean, I've kind of soured on it, you know, a little bit, but I mean, it's all right. I mean, you know, there's Paramount Plus and Peacock and all sorts of Fubo TV or whatever. I don't know, I don't know all the damn streaming services. But um, to supplement, you know, the cable offering with you know, streams, official streams that are still three seconds behind, you know, I mean, it's all cool, it's all good in the hood, we all know Amazon streams are going to be horrible because people have complained about how bad those streams are, it just doesn't make any sense, it really doesn't, I don't get it, I don't like it, like, I know I said I'm kind of lukewarm on it, I'm still kind of salty about the whole Amazon getting the NFL, getting any sort of NFL rights in 2022. Yeah, that's right, 2022, I know, a year early, Fox said they were done with it. And the fact of the matter is, is that we could have just ended Thursday Night Football if nobody wanted it. Nobody nobody on actual television wanted it. it the NFL got greedy and said, hey, Amazon give us a billion bucks and you know boom there it was you know we could you there's a lot of things that got fumbled here i mean I, i've said it before i said it a couple weeks ago or however long the last video i did on the nfl was but the nfl really kind of fumbled the bag here you know the nfl pa fumbled the bag more but the nfl kind of fumbled the bag here it's going to alienate some people. It's going to alienate some more people. Especially those in rural areas like West Virginia. That's just the most common example. I know there's some other areas that have poor internet connections as well. But, you know, the move to streaming. If you want to watch that one Thursday night game that your team has to play for some stupid reason. You know, 
Um, yeah. That's there. I don't get it. I don't get it. And you know, I mean, I don't think I don't think Amazon should have that many games anyway. I don't think Amazon should have anything games at all. NFL Network only has to carry seven games now. You know, and nobody really wants NFL Network either. Like, I want every NFL game to be on an actual network, you know, all four networks, you know, to get that unified, you know, thing. Because, I mean, there's no point in having ESPN, you know, televise the NFL anymore. They pay too much for it. And they get they 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 still kind of got shafted in this deal. Yeah, yeah, remember they they get the flex starting with week twelve for Monday Night Football. Now they get some more games on ABC. Now they get a couple of Super Bowls. So I feel like ESPN still got kind of kind of shafted here because I mean there's gonna be a lot of games you know in those first eleven weeks or so. They're not gonna be good. It's not gonna be pretty. And. I don't know how week I don't know how week 18 is going to work because all the games should be on Sunday except for, I don't know how they're going to get three meaningful games for week 18. I don't know how they're going to get three meaningful games. They're or rather two meaningful games for week 18 on a Saturday. That's impossible. You can't you can't really do that. But I mean also there's the fact that conference des- designations are kind of going away, so it's kind of like you know, um, I guess we could say college football with the whole you know, who's the best team you know gets picked for this week. So let's say you know, let's say you know, Fox wants the Cowboys or something like that. You know, each and every week they get the Cowboys each and every week, aside from you know, like five or six weeks that you know, you know, that that. That the other networks can choose. Well, they can choose more games now. They, there's no designation. There's no official designation now, as far as AFC and NFC goes. But I don't. I don't know. The whole broadcasting deal was kind of weird. It it made mostly some sense to me. It, some sense it didn't. I mean, there's some things ESPN got from this. You know, like another playoff game. I don't want them to have another playoff game. Here we are. They have another one. Um, and I mean, the networks don't have the networks don't have to deal with Thursday night football anymore. They don't. They really don't. I thought ESPN would try and pick up, you know, Thursday night football. I thought Turner, because I mean, Turner's been doing some aggressive things lately. They got the NHL rights. They got MLB rights for Tuesday nights. They got AEW. They got the NBA. They're getting aggressive. They're becoming the, they're becoming the number five out here. They're, they're becoming the number five again. So I mean I mean it's this crazy stuff right here. I just don't I just don't know. I just really don't. In a weird you know turntable of NFL stuff, you know I just don't I just don't know, man. I just don't know what's happening. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta say about this. You know, um, I don't really have much else to say about free agency. I know the Cowboys have signed plenty of players. I know a lot of teams have signed plenty of players. But I mean, we'll go over that. You know, eventually we'll go over that because I know I know there's players that have already been injured as well. Um, I know I believe it was a Broncos player, a Broncos offensive lineman that got injured and tore his ACL. And uh, it's just it's just a mess as usual, you know. Training camps in the spring, uh, but yeah, that that that'll pretty much do it. That's all I gotta say, you know. The the whole, you know, it, it's a mostly a rare about you know Amazon. I know there's a little bit about Aaron Rodgers up here as well for that first minute or so, but yeah, whatever. Uh, I just don't know. I just don't know anymore, man. NFL is kind of confusing me right now. But we'll see what that schedule will look like next week. Um, I'm going to be very excited for that. It's going to be very fun to see. See y'all for that NFL schedule release.